When people talk about the kind of timeline for self-driving cars, most people often think about a world where we live in nothing but self-driving cars. That's obviously not how it's going to be. Auto is a transportation company. I was a co-founder. I came previously from Google self-driving car team. Uh, where I gained a lot of experience in this, this area. I basically wanted to take my expertise to a different domain and focus on the trucks. When you're trying to work on self-driving cars um, for personal mobility, you need to deal with all kinds of unstructured environments, downtown centers, urban streets. And I worked on that for almost six years. I wanted to take a step back and say, how can we simplify the problem? Trucking is simpler because of the structured environment. Controlled access is the way we, we call the highway system. So you're not allowed to have, you know, just walk across a highway. It would be illegal to do so. Of course, there are certain situations you have to deal with, cars pulled to the side, someone blocking traffic, that sort of thing. But for the most part, you're just in a lane and the lane just kind of goes. You have to worry about merges and lane changes and on-ramps and exits. But in the grand scheme of self-driving situations, that's pretty much the easiest possible situation. We took the approach early on that we wanted to be able to retrofit existing trucks. We had to be able to kind of bolt on, if you will. Um, all of the sensors required, all of the actuation, all the redundancy, all the computing, everything that goes into making a self-driving truck, it had to be part of a package that you could take and put on. We realized that there was a, a real alignment in goals for Uber and Auto. Uber already had a self-driving car project focusing on urban driving, just like the Google self-driving car project. Uber sees the self-driving cars as pivotal to the future of their company. People don't believe that this technology is feasible. When I talk to people, it's mostly negative. You occasionally get people who are super excited and they say, oh, that's the future. But the, for the majority of people, they say, ah, a truck, you know, you'll never be able to drive a truck autonomously. It's too complicated. Uh, the technology is just, will never be there. Humans are too good. I think that the technology um, is sufficiently advanced that we're going to get there soon in the, in the next couple of years. Um, and I think that in the short to medium term, it's going to actually help the trucking um, economy because there's an oversupply of goods that need to be moved and an undersupply of people to move them. Um, so we're going to be able to assist the industry as a whole. We're going to be able to make drivers more efficient, allow them to drive longer distances and carry, carry more goods. It's not a doomsday scenario, I think, that a lot of people are, are expecting. Now, eventually, both in trucking and in the service industry, I think all the cars are going to be self-driving.